Officials want to reduce the amount of phosphorus in Vermont's waterways. But how, you ask? NBC 5's Renee Wunderlich is back from Montpelier to explain the state's latest plan. Renee, good to see you. Good to see you, Jen. Well, they basically held a contest to see who could come up with different ways to take the phosphorus out of city streets and farmland before it gets into the water. Looking for solutions to the phosphorus problem, the state awarded $250,000 worth of funding to six pilot programs from VPIC, or the Vermont Phosphorus Innovation Challenge. What we have done is put out on the street the problem and asked scientists, entrepreneurs, and innovators to come forward with their ideas for potential solutions. One of those potential solutions is called biochar. It's a carbon product involved in two of the proposals. So there's lots of pores in that biochar. So when the runoff is going through it, the um, biochar is abs uh, absorbing all the phosphorus. The six were picked out of a group of 27. This proves there is potential to reduce phosphorus loading to Vermont's landscape and waterways through innovative technologies. Too much phosphorus in the water can lead to toxic cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, which hurts lakes and streams and can make pets and people sick. We don't believe that there's a singular solution to the phosphorus challenges Vermont faces, but rather a toolbox and are just completely thrilled by the range of tools that were submitted to VPIC for our consideration. The state's going to review the six proposals based on how well they work, and this time next year, the six pilots will be narrowed down to two or three, in which we'll get more funding, though it's unclear exactly how much more funding. At the Live Desk, Renee Wunderlich, NBC5 News.